Spoiler alert. Uh, this is part of uh, what, about two hours into the game. So if you haven't watched or played anything around this area, if it does not look familiar, uh, obviously don't continue because there will be spoilers and probably tons of them. Resident Evil 7 doesn't really provide anything new to the gaming environment, to the gaming world. However, what it does do is provide you with incredible visuals, intense horror, fantastic pop-ups, an interesting story that makes you not want to stop playing. The game's interesting. It, it takes a lot from the Resident, Resident Evil series, but really it, it's not a Resident Evil game, if that makes any sense. They could have put a new label on this game, calling it something completely different, and it probably wouldn't have sold so well. Why? Because it's not a Resident Evil game, right? But you throw Resident Evil into it, and all of a sudden it becomes a Resident Evil game. And the story is, is quite simple. It's uh, the main character. You are going to find your uh, wife, I think it is. Um, wife gets captured by these maniac people, and now you found your way to the maniac house and uh, confronted these individuals of a family that have now adopted your wife, in a way, and you're trying to get her back, obviously, so you're, you're going step by step. The game is not open world, it's definitely a very linear game, a linear game, sorry. You have the options to save when you like, you have the options to go to your storage where all of your uh, excess items are, inventory, uh, saved at. But outside that, you have a, a set goal. Now you can complete that set goal in several different tactics. I say that as as you get you, you have to find keys throughout the game and you don't have to go at, after key 1, key 2 or key 3. You could you can go at any key you want as long as you get all 3 to proceed with the game, right? Now, let's quickly uh, you know, I talked about the visuals. Let's go back into that real quick. A phenomenal graphics. They've done a, a great job providing you with intense graphics that are very lifelike. As you can see here in the gameplay, um, the shadows are fantastic. The motion camera, fantastic. The blur motion, fantastic. High quality, high high uh, attention to detail, fantastic. Now I'm playing this on the uh, PC version on a 1060 card. Runs 60 frames per second. Everything on uh, Ultra, I believe it is, um, at 1080p. Game looks beautiful, uh, graphic wise. So you you'll there'll never be a moment where you're like, oh. I'm playing an old game. You're you are playing a state-of-the-art video game at the at the time in terms of the graphics, what you can visually see. Now there's certain things that you like to be able to do. Uh, I, I've I've seen gameplay of people trying to hit balls that don't move, um, try to open up drawers that don't open, uh, shoot at things that should blow up but they don't. That's just how it is, right? Everything's not going to be uh, complete to the world. What they've done, though, is the things that you should interact with are very interactable, and they make you feel like you are part of the story. You also have a fantastic audio in terms of uh, the the uh, characters in the game really feel... They make you feel the intensity that you currently are, are gathering. The soundtracks are fantastic. The background noise, amazing. Uh, so you really get engulfed in, in, in this game. It really makes you want to play it more and more. Now, with that being said, you can definitely play at 2 in the afternoon, right? And have an alright gameplay. The game is meant to be played at night. It is meant to be pitch black. It is meant to have your speakers up. It is meant to scare the living crap out of you. That is what this game does. And it does it well with the jump scares. It does it with... Uh, you know, people who are afraid of bugs or insects, there's a nice chunk of that in the game, and it just terrified the hell out of me when I was playing it. Uh, and then just the suspense, the suspense, the, the build-up towards certain things, they, they just get at you and they, they make you uh, really fear at it, or always look behind your back because you don't know what's going to happen, or you're looking at a note and you're like, oh crap, I know as soon as I put this down they're going to come after me. They do a fantastic job at doing that. 
uh, would I want more out of the game? Uh, you know, honestly, at this point, I don't know. I haven't quite finished it. I'm uh, roughly six hours into the game myself. Um, and like I was saying just a little bit ago, I, I play at night. I try to play mostly at night, an hour or two a night. Or, and really get involved in the story and, and, and find the collectibles you possibly can. Go back and see if you can find more. That's kind of what I've been doing recently versus proceeding with the story. See if I can find other things, more supplies, which is dire need at all times. More bullets, more flame, uh, more more gasoline, whatever they call it in the game, um, for the torch. So there's a lot of things that you you need to be careful with um, when you when you go out and hunt these hideous hideous creatures that come from the corners and come from behind and come from underneath whichever whichever you like uh, highly recommend the game for people who like horror games people who like resident evil games this is this is up there with kind of mixed a couple different mixed uh versions of resident evil uh throughout the series anyone who likes um a good movie story right this is what the this game is it this could have easily been turned into a movie uh, instead of a video game, and they potentially could do that in the future. That's it, it, fantastic with that. Anyone likes great detail to graphics and audio, uh, this game will definitely get you in that category as well. Um, like I said, plain PC version, so uh, if, if you have not yet, there's plenty of comparison videos on the PS4, Xbox, and PC. Graphic-wise and PC easily dominates, like the majority of games out there. Uh, and the 1060 graphic card does a fantastic job at keeping up with everything in the game. Uh, there are a few glitches still. Uh, shuttering is, is an issue from time to time. It seems like the uh, if you don't have a, a 1060 or higher, you're going to experience it worse. Uh, it, and it's only during loading scenes. So when you're going into a, a next chapter within the game, since there are no loading screens, it loads up that, that next portion you need to see. So there'll be shuttering going on there for roughly depends on what kind of card you you've seen i've seen people play with 900s and the shuttering goes on for you know five ten seconds uh the 1060 it lasts for about two seconds three seconds max um so nothing nothing major with that outside of that i have nothing to really complain about with this game it is phenomenal and everything it's done play it at night well worth it play it alone don't play with friends don't don't do a commentary on YouTube until you've played through it all because you want to experience every single thing this game is throwing out there for you to experience. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment below what you thought of the game, uh, what you're excited about if you haven't played it yet, so, or what parts that you've seen that you're really excited about playing. Uh, what scared you the most and what creatures are just the nastiest things you've ever seen? Uh, and, and how many ammo? How many times did you run out of ammo? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and like I said, comment below your thoughts and more. Thanks, and have a good time.